So God bless you. Thank you for joining me. Let's get into this. Here is part two up in the upper right, um, how to honor our parents and or what does that look like, I should say, as believers. So we did the Old Testament yesterday, New Testament written in Greek. And so we're going to look at the words of Jesus. In the Greek, the word for honor is from the Concordance G5091, and I wrote out here what it means. To prize, i.e. fix, evaluation upon, by implication to revere, honor, value. So what does Jesus say when he's repeating the commandments? In Mark chapter 10, verse 19, Jesus says this, You know the commandments, you shall not murder, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not steal, you shall not bear false witness, you shall not defraud. Honor your father and mother. So clearly, this is obviously important to God. It's a commandment that he gave to Moses. Jesus is repeating the commandments that his dad has given to Moses. Obviously, it's important. And what does that look like for us as believers to make certain that, our, that we are honoring our parents as stewards and as believers and followers of Christ. What does that look like? And so having shied away from this because there are these nuances that, you know, didn't exist before. Um, as I mentioned, the first case of the first case of Alzheimer's was diagnosed in 1906. So if we're looking at honoring our parents' wishes, it may be to stay in their home alone. But they might have dementia. They might have Alzheimer's. And staying in their home alone is dangerous. They could fall, get hurt, start a fire, burn their house down for a myriad of reasons. It's not always doing exactly what your parents have requested of you. It sometimes isn't a possibility. You know, we have people in colder climates who perhaps... If they stay in their home, they're outside at night. It's dangerous, it's below zero, there's snow, there's frostbite, there's a multitude of things and a million scenarios that we can all come up with why if we have a parent with Alzheimer's or dementia, their, their desire may be to stay in their home and that may be how you feel you need to honor them. But if they are not safe, if they're over medicating because they can't quite keep track of the medication that they've taken, if they're not medicating and they should be because they don't have the mental capability to understand, then sometimes honoring your parents is going against their wishes if they want to stay in their home when they need to be somewhere else for their own safety. And so this is something I've just not really been comfortable talking about but I think it's something that is important for us as believers to understand that your parent may give you instructions and this is the way you need to honor me. But honoring them in that capacity is a danger. And you just can't simply let them be a danger to themselves or someone else. It goes along the same lines as they want to continue to drive, but gosh, maybe they can't even see, you know? So there are a multitude of things i think that and examples that we could all come up with and their wishes and desires of our parents and things that our parents want and you feel obligated to fulfill their promises because that's how you think you have to honor them but i don't think that honoring them is allowing them to just make decisions when there are cognitive issues and they're unable to make good choices. So I think we have to value and revere and honor our parents, make sure that their needs are met, but not necessarily their wishes. And sometimes I think honoring them can be, can be doing the opposite of their request because the circumstances they're in are not safe. And I think that's really how we honor our parents, making certain that their circumstance is the best circumstance for them. Armor up, we ride at dawn. May God bless you as always. Have a great day.